name is Peter Pong Shokun, I'm an architect. I run my office uh, Super Machine Studio. Uh, Kaijiao is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Omelette is the best. Water Adaptive City, I think, um, say it's a city that uh, lived uh, by the people that has this sort of adaptive mentality rather than you know a city that um, built to sort of resist the change of water conditions it's more like for me it's more like well could be sort of generic city but um, lived by very very adaptable people well that could lead to and I have your questions, I mean, if the people, it's quite adaptive, that brought sequentially the creativity and uh, resilience. So whenever the water condition change, they always find the new ways to sort of adapt to the new conditions. Say they add bridge, they go to the second floor, they find new ways to get the supply in, and that's make uh, the city adaptable for, for water. For example, the, the city living up a bit north of uh, Bangkok, they are very much uh, in danger by the changing water condition comparing to Bangkok, where we are very protected. Mm -hmm. So like two years ago when the water came, we got so panicked and you know, we. There's, you can't find the water because people go and get the water from the supermarket and you cannot find it. Mm -hmm. When comparing to the, the people living in the north, when the water condition is changing all the time, if such a sort of level came, such a level of water came, they very much sort of live with it. You know, they, it's not kind of normal life, but they can live with it. They don't have to to run away from the city, so it's very much based on people, I think. I think, um, of course, you have to start with people. You have to start um, building kind of common understanding among people. Say, if the water came that high. 1.2 meter like two years ago you don't go and bring your car parking on the bridge right it's not a parking lot right it's or simply on the other side say okay we have such a but I think the, the flood problem two years ago happened because well firstly because of the the mismanagement uh, the, the bigger uh, the government people but very importantly is this garbage, right? Like how people, it's our bad behavior, like, you know, built on the canals, blocking the, the waterway and throwing garbage on the road so that it cannot be drained. So definitely it had to, to, to be started. You have to work with people. Well, architects, of course, pay, uh, play an important role, but, but architects themselves are like one of those people, you know. We have to, we have to, sort of having this uh, common understanding between among us. You know how we sort of behave. Like the Dutch can be sort of uh, Dutch and uh, Dutch people and water is something like they have some sort of common common understanding. What you should be looking after, like the dike, um, the canal in front of your house, blah blah. That sort of understanding, that sort of common, uh, say, common ground, like the Venice Biennale, has to be established in in India, in Thailand, you know, in the in Vietnam, in the the, the country that uh, uh, how do you call it volatile to to this sort of disaster. I already have my uh, K2 
canoe, my kayak uh, canoe, so I don't have to do much. But, um, well, don't throw cabe uh, garbage in, uh, on the street, or that kind of thing. I think it's um, pretty much living like, like uh, what I am now. I think I'm, I'm not, don't, don't cause too much of a problem. Um, riding bicycle doesn't help, I think. We ride in our office, we ride bikes like crazy. But that sort of um, this global warming thing, I think it's very mild. It's like if we start not using plastic bag, this is like, you know, it's not really big. And pe people have to stop using plastic bag altogether. Like 60, 60 million people have to stop using it. Um, so for me, if you ask me personally, I think I'm, I'm behaving quite okay for, for the, the water conditions. I don't really do very bad stuff.